How's it going everybody? My name is Magneti. Welcome or welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about how to install mods for Valheim. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a newbie beginner like myself or if you're an experienced veteran to Valheim, installing mods can be an amazing thing before you've even beaten the game. It can add a lot of quality of life, which in simple terms basically just means things that seem like they should have belonged in the game to begin with. Alright, so let's kick it off. Alright, so we're going to start off by making sure that Valheim is actually installed. We're going to go ahead and open Steam. You're going to want to go to your library, make sure you're under the games category. And as you can see right here, I have Valheim installed. It's ready to play. So we're actually just going to close that because the next step is not to open Valheim. So after you've ensured that Valheim is installed, the second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to the Googles. And in order to do that, you literally just open any web browser. And then you're going to want to travel to nexusmods.com right here. I've got a link in the description for you. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.nexusmods.com. And then once you're here, you're going to want to download something called Vortex. Now what Vortex is, is it's a mod manager. Basically all it's going to do for you is it's going to help you manage and maintain your mods. So once you come here to this URL, or you can follow the other URL that I left in this, the description, you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom here and click learn more. So this is where you download the mod manager. So now you're gonna download the latest version. Now I already have this installed and I can show you right here that I have it downloaded. Uh, let me drag it over one second. It is right here. So this is Vortex right here. It's again, it's just a mod manager, helps you manage your mods. And if you've played any other game like Skyrim, Fallout, uh, Cyberpunk, Borderlands, things like that, The Witcher, uh, you possibly already know what this is and that it already exists. Vortex and Nexus Mods is used to manage lots of different mods. And so, yeah, once you have this downloaded, you can either follow the Nexus Mod link in the description or the Vortex Mod, uh, mod Manager link in the description. Either one will work. All right, so once you've got Vortex downloaded or before you even have it downloaded, just go ahead and come up here and make sure you create an account. I'm already logged into mine. Uh, I'm a like $1 purchaser of the premium membership back when it was just like a one-time purchasing, which is kind of convenient for myself, but... Uh, I don't even know if it's still like that. Anyway, it's not important. So what's important is that you create an account because if you don't create an account, it's not going to download your stuff as quickly and, you know, it's just going to piss you off. So once you've downloaded Vortex and created an account on Nexus Mods, you're going to go ahead and just open Vortex. Make sure you never run Vortex as a administrator because you're just going to break the application and it's not, it's actually going to warn you if you try to open it as, a, as an administrator because it, it just doesn't like that. It, it'll ask you for admin permissions when and if you need them. So once you open Vortex here, you know, double click on it, whatever, you know, right click, click open, whatever you want to do. Once it's opened, it's going to ask you if it's your first time downloading, it's going to ask you to auto detect uh, any games that you have downloaded. Go ahead and say yes. That's totally fine. And if it's if it's not your first time using Vortex, then you probably already know a little bit about how to use this. As you can see, I have 132 active mods on Skyrim Special Edition, so I have a little bit of experience with modding on Vortex. So. Once you've already auto-detected auto your games for Vortex, you're going to go ahead and go down to Games. And we're going to search for a game, and we're going to type Valheim, or just V-A-L. And then you're going to click Manage. And what's it says support for this game is provided through an extension. To use it, you have to download that extension and restart Vortex. That's awesome, perfect, that's what we want to do. Go ahead and download it. It's going to install and automatically restart for you. Note, make sure you have Valheim installed prior to the step because if you don't, Vortex is going to install Valheim and then it's going to restart and it's going to be like, oh my god, you don't have Valheim installed, what the hell are you doing? And then you're going to be confused and you're going to be like, oh my god, I don't have Valheim installed and then you're going to have to install Valheim like I told you to do in the beginning. So please just, you know, make sure you have Valheim installed, otherwise, you know, you're going to create a hassle for yourself. Okay, so once you install the extension you will come to mods down here at the bottom on the left and you will notice that okay so none of this is going to be here for you the only thing that will be here is going to be at the top and it's going to say whatever that is Beppin X Pack Valheim and that is perfect because that will automatically install you cannot remove it and if you do it's just going to automatically reinstall it for you because you need the Beppin X Pack to use other mods like some of these ones that I have downloaded. Not all mods require the Beppin X pack to be used or installed to be used, but a lot of the popular mods that are for Valheim on the Nexus mods page require it. So it's an auto install and that is very new. 
and thank God for that because I was having troubles with it in the past. So now it's automatically installed for you, ready to go. If for some reason the Beppin X pack is not automatically installed on your Vortex when you install the Valheim ex extension, please leave a comment down below and I will give a detailed description as to how to install the Beppin X pack and possibly make another video on how to download mods. Um, because this can be a little bit confusing doing this Beppin X pack if it doesn't automatically install for you. After this, we can go ahead and lower the Vortex Mod Manager, and we're going to come back to Nexus Mods. I'm going to go ahead and close this web page because I already have a few mods loaded up that I want to download. Um, once you have the Vortex Mod Manager installed, you don't need to run Valheim. Uh, you can just come right away and uh, actually, you know what? Here, I'm going to show you. We're going to go from the Nexus homepage here. And once, so once you have Vortex installed, you can come back to the Nexus Mods page and you can go to games and then um, you can add games up here for, um, you know, my games. You can add them. Uh, I don't remember exactly how. Oh, right. Yes. So to add, in, to add a game to your my games list here, you have to, um, here, let me show you. You have to come here and uh, click view all games, otherwise it will give you a uh, quick list of popular games right here like Skyrim, Fallout, Oblivion, uh, stuff like that. Just click view all and then you can enter the name here, Valheim, and then you can click add. Uh, see it says remove favorite for me already, that's because I already have it here. So once you search for it and you add it to your uh, quick bar thing here, you can go ahead and either click on it here or click on it here. I'm gonna just click it here because I'm already here. And then once you click that, you've got the the Valheim mods page loaded up right here and it'll show you the hot mods up top. This is just a add and then it'll say more mods right here. You can see new today, new this week, latest, popular in the last 30 days, popular all time, most trending, random mods, most recently updated, and then mods that you're tracking. So once you've navigated to the Valheim section of Nexus mods, you can go ahead and search for whatever mod you want. And um, well, apparently whatever I just did is not a real mod. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just close this now because I already have a few mods that um, I want to download. So my next mod that I'm gonna download is gonna be Hold Attack. Basically what this mod does is uh, it's a plugin so that you can hold the click button to mine and attack instead of having to click it repeatedly. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click the Vortex button right there. It's gonna download here and it should pop up. Boom, just like that. You can go ahead and click on this. If that doesn't pop up for you, just go ahead and open Vortex and you can navigate to Downloads. You'll see that it's downloading or it'll probably already be downloaded because most of the Valheim mods are pretty small. It'll say never installed. Go ahead and just click that. You'll see it's installing up here. It'll say that a deployment is necessary. Now, if you wanna know what that is, I'll give you a quick description. Otherwise you can just skip like 15 seconds into the future. So what a deployment is, is basically <clears throat> every mod that you down, most mods that you download for any game have what's called a plugin. And for some reason it's not listed here. I don't know if Valheim mods have a plugin or not, but basically when you have to do a deployment, it's when you download a new mod and it has to resort your loading order. So when you open up a game, it has a load order of things that are installed for the game, like DLC or just the base game or different data packets, stuff like that. So when you install a mod and you enable it, it asks you to deploy it or elevate it so that the load order when you're opening the game, launching the game, what's loaded is in a specific order so that it can be loaded properly so that the game doesn't crash. So that's what a deployment or an elevation is. So we're gonna go ahead and just deploy and elevate. It's gonna ask for user access control. That's the admin pop-up I was talking about. Just go ahead and click yes when that pops up. You're good to go. You've downloaded another mod. So I'm gonna go ahead and just download these couple other mods. I'll give you a quick look at what they are and I might be doing a review on them in the future. All right, so this one's farm grid about this mod allows for all plants planted with the cultivator to automatically be snapped and placed into a grid in which they will have enough space to grow. Awesome, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and download that vortex button, cool. Go ahead and close this. All right, next one is craft, build, smelt, cook, fuel, pull from containers. So basically what this does is it just allows you to pull, uh, pull resources from containers when you're doing crafting, building, smelting, cooking, stuff like that. Yeah, cool, so we're gonna download that too. All right, so I'm done with those. And then as you can see, I also already had a few mods installed before like clock mod, configuration manager, um, locator, and simple recycling. 
Those are also some good quality of life mods. Since I haven't beaten the game yet, I don't really want to do anything too crazy like Valheim Plus. Um, again, I can describe that in another video at a later date. Again, I'm going to elevate and deploy. It's going to ask me for admin uh, processes. And we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Valheim. Make sure you don't launch Valheim from your uh, shortcut here. If you want to play it modded, you're going to need to launch it from Vortex. So just click the play button right here. If you launch it from here, it will launch vanilla. So don't launch it from the shortcut unless you want to play vanilla. Okay, we're launching a Valheim here. As you can see, it's loading. Oh my god, 60 FPS. No way. Okay, we're going to start the game. Go ahead and just start it right away. I don't want to start a server or anything. We're just going to verify that the mods are working. I already verified one of the mods earlier today, which was the clock mod. I'm just going to verify that some of my other mods are also working. Now, I don't know if you've ever run into this issue, but when you get this Valheim.exe is not responding issue while you're loading, go ahead and just click wait for the program to respond and just give it a good like 300 million years and you'll be good to go, I promise. All right, as you can see, I'm loading into Valheim here. I'm just gonna take a sip of water. All right, frickin' sweet. We're playing Valheim. Wow, it's like I've never done this before or something. Uh, okay, so I'm outside. Very nice, cool. Uh, anyways, so as you can see, there's a nice little clock here that's not OG to the game. That's definitely a mod. And we're gonna go ahead and test out the um, hold to attack button. Uh, that is definitely working. As you can hear, I will click my mouse just once here and hold it so you can hear it. There it is. Cool. All right. Um, we're going to test out the build or craft from, um, what, what was it called? Uh, uh, craft from containers. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to verify that that works or not. Um, there is this recycle tab for one of my other mods, so I can recycle some crafted items, which I'm not going to do because I'd like to keep those. Alright, well, that's cool. Uh, I would, I would take a strong guess and say that all the mods are working. I downloaded, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mods, and then if you include the Bepin X pack, which doesn't really count, it's eight. So... Yeah, uh, if you enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below if you need some help. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I need to cover here. So uh, go ahead and leave me a subscribe if you love my content so I can keep producing more. And I will see you in the next video. Peace!